everybody, and welcome to What the Flick, Taboo Season 1, Episode 7. We are almost done with this journey. I'm, I'm trying to look this thing up. I'm trying to get the IMDb page of the cat, and I can't. I'm like, how do you spell taboo? Like, why am I, am I spelling this wrong? And I, I'm like, is it two T's? Or, uh, and I've been writing tattoo. Tattoo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, ben and Tim and Alonzo. Uh, so... We have been finding, usually, that uh, the, the next to last episode is where, like, plot, plot, plot things are happening, and that was sort of the case here, I guess, but does anything ever really happen on this show? I mean, really? Does it? Uh, I, you know, apart from, like, oh, James is so cool, and James is so much smarter than everyone else, and yeah, James is the best at all the things. Yeah, that's what we're, you know, at least Alonzo and I, Tim, have been complaining we'll get about. We'll to that the, 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 <laughs> the, the idea that... that that like okay, if he can't be beaten, then it's not interesting. Then it's just Superman against these you know morons at the British East India Company and the with the you know the Prince what is his name the Prince, Prince Regent with the Prince Regent you know uh, he and the Americans he's just too smart for everybody and that gets a little tiring, especially when he never lets us in on his plan. We're just supposed to presume nope. It's all six, going according. He's yes. six steps ahead. No, there. This is where the part where Helga. Tell, you know, we have little bits of humanity, like where he says, don't kill her. But, of course, it might not be humanity. Although, no, he does say she Maybe suffered enough, she's lost her. enough. Yeah. But also, it's like, no, this is my plan. I'm working it out. So they arrest me, and then they torture me, and then I'm going to bring Sir Scott in and, and Sir Stewart in, and then... And then yeah, all I mean, like, revealed. even Hannibal on Hannibal, like, wasn't <laughs> this, you know, completely ahead of the game all the time and, like, did have some weaknesses eventually. So what's his, what, what happened with his sister? Because that was a difficult scene. That was a, you know, where she's what like... What happened with his sister indeed? Right. That, that, I mean, this is a confusing show, <clears throat> but now I'm really confused. Mm. Um, because he's been seeing, like, uh, assumedly, they were having sex and he saw some crazy shit. And you know. he was choking her. Yeah, he was and choking so, her. So is he just saying we're done because... Uh, you're not safe with me, or is he? Or was there? The or, or he's scenario. like, "Hey, uh, uh, gutting your husband was a was a was a bridge too far." It doesn't seem like the kind of thing. Uh, I don't know. But, they had sex after that happened, so yeah. um, I, you know, who can say? I think, yeah, my 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 gut is that yes, I don't trust me around you. You need to not be around me. Was the the subtext? But because he's got some of his mother in him. Is that what? He, like, he's a dangerous person who is prone to madness and. And his father, maybe because I mean, his father had it too. Two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We, got... we find that the brace like put him out of his misery. Right. If we're to believe Brace, and I, for some reason, Brace is a character who you presume uh, is always telling some version, at least, of the truth. And yeah. ultimately, in the end, at the moment where Brace cries, Brace is incapable of lying. So he did think he was putting him out of his misery, which also means probably that the that the Brace's description of the drowning scene when he was a baby is also true. Yes. No, I, Brace always strikes me as a character who has integrity. Like, if he says it, I, I will buy it. You know, although the, you never know with this show, they could throw yeah. some switcheroo at you later, you know. Um, but yeah, so, so basically, uh, we find out that he did indeed murder Winter and uh, Helga. No. No, no? no he, he did, did not. He did, mur he did not murder Winter. Oh. Because remember the boy. Right. The, the kid, oh, right. right. Yes. The okay. Kids. Sorry. Yes. Tempo. Right. Yeah, and we know he didn't murder Winter because that. Again, that would that would be too much. We yeah. can't. That we can't. would invalidate his. Yeah. And, and also, we couldn't. We're, I can't. We can't root for the person who roots who kills the innocent sixteen-year-old yes. girl no. who's just wanted to be friends with him. And right. you know, but his guilt comes from her. I guess asking, you know, for shelter. She asked if she could stay under his house, and he mm. was like, yeah, "You don't want to be near me. I'm a madman." And then she gets murdered that night. Right. So he didn't protect her, and now she's dead. But he didn't kill her, he, and and Helga uh, seems to well, obviously believes that he did. But that doesn't seem to me to make any sense. Right. What, what I meant to say was that because Helga thinks that she has killed Winter, mm. she betrays him to the East India. Yeah, but uh, Helga, I wouldn't. I mean, like you know, again, it's one, then it, then it comes to me to a little bit of a threes, com a really a dark, horrible threes company, <laughs> moment, a dark British threes company <laughs> moment. Like she's shooting at him, and of course misses, and you know. I didn't do it. <laughs> Why not just tell her or send someone? Right. You know, mm -hmm. you know, you, you uh, try that tactic. <laughs> of course, I didn't kill her. I loved her. I think the company killed her. So you don't think he thinks 
he killed her in that moment because he, you know, woke up from a drunken that, bender. That's He's what it, not that's, sure. I, that I suppose is what it. Or has maybe to be. it's some form of guilt. Like, okay, I didn't kill her, but I for sure could have right. in that, that moment. That has to be it. That yeah. can be the. This is a show where he's talking to the ashes. I don't know what's going on half the time yeah. anymore. You know, it's funny. Like this is a show that I tuned in for because I'm a big fan of Tom Hardy, Huge. and now I find myself being like, "Oh, thank God, a Jonathan Price scene. Mm. Like it's going to be well lit, and I'll understand what people are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to grunt. Uh, yes. I'll understand the the, the, the machinations gist. of what's going on. Yes, they will. I like, get your plan. Yeah. But the, meanwhile, you're having like spirit dream visions, and you know. Yeah, he does see Winter, and he asks her if he had done it. And, yes, right. And then she's gone in that moment. So you're he's right. not. So he's he not had sure. to know yeah. what it is, but but still, right. And so then, uh, uh, and and and, and I, I like uh, uh, not Clara Bow. Um, Lorna Lorna Bow. Lorna Bow. I like uh, her. Her loyalty to him and her attraction to him and her uh, sort of commitment to him, despite the fact that he can't even sit and have breakfast with her without yeah. being a total jack bag, right. um, <laughs> uh, is, uh, is is appealing. But it, it it's exhausting. And if you did you watch it without subtitles? Uh, I typically watch it with subtitles. Yeah, I, yeah I mean, always. Yeah. Always can't I can't do it. And I don't know about you, but at least on Time Warner, um, uh, the like. I, you get eighty percent of the subtitles. Some they, just, they just leave whole. Yeah, sen- like like three sentences, sentences come out, and you'll get like the last half of the third like, sentence. Oh, like, oh, what? I, I, yeah, I don't know what anybody said. And it's, the but, first you know. half is just grunts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, I, I, I'm Stephen Graham, who I guess is a, a writer on this, right? Or created it with him, Atticus. Uh, I think. Am I wrong? About no, that? it's um. Uh, Stephen, Stephen Knight. Knight. Sorry, mm-hmm. Stephen Knight. Excuse, I think I said that wrong in a previous episode. But so Steve, uh, Stephen Graham, though, who plays Atticus, uh, I, you, know, you didn't watch Boardwalk Empire, but he was Capone on Boardwalk Empire. Mm-hmm. He was a nice, 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 really talented actor. Um, but the tattoos. I mean, did, are we to really believe there were a bunch? Of, this is there was all this tattoo work being done in. 1807. You know, if you if you hung around the docks and you were a sailor, yes, like those are the only people that had them, really. Right. I think okay. you know, uh, the Molly House was kind of interesting. You know, I mean, just in terms of, the, I, I don't know. I mean, like this show is so weird about how it handles this kind of like illicit gay subculture. Oh, that was, I didn't know what the Molly House was. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, although I, I do like the idea of like, oh, I'm going to get you out of here to the New World. Like, oh, yeah, it's going to be much better for gay people in North America in 1814 than it is in England. Like, Well, I suppose there probably judgment. were places where there was essentially no rule and you could maybe settle there. So, it could but, be, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, here's what he's saying. He's like, it'll be fine on the boat. <laughs> you know, <laughs> go nuts on the boat. Nice boat. I don't even want to think about what that means. Uh, anyway, but, it's, I guess, <laughs> but, it, but it, actually, but of course, they're going to Nootka. Yes. And Nootka, it might be okay. Like they're not. It might, yeah, you maybe. Know, right. Yeah, that's true. It's Canada, and um, uh, but like the boat blowing up the boat, and and you know, and again, it's just he. It, it, we have, we can't totally commit to this guy being twelve steps ahead of everyone, always. Yeah, and presume that everything's going to be fine. They have to. He has to give us something either emotionally or I think story-wise to help us be included. This show feels exclusive. Yeah, the, the closest he has, he has to vulnerability is like I can't trust myself not to kill everyone around me because I'm that strong. You know, uh, there, there, there's yeah, it's 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 too much. And then and also the like and fuck it, waterboard me. I don't care. Yeah, you know? but you 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 you're not having the same problem. No, I, yeah, the, all of the criticisms that you're raising are super fair, especially when he gets betrayed every episode, and that's still according to plan. Right, no, don't, right. don't kill her. I have a use for her. She's going to sell me out. I'm going to get tortured for her. <laughs> right. all part of the plan. It's at some point you got to say, that's bullshit. That's not part of the plan. No, I'm making it up. You can just buy a boat, dude. you got a bag of diamonds. You don't, <laughs> you don't need that. But, yeah, yeah he's, he's really, at least as he's indicated to us, hasn't faced any real adversity, and I say that having you know him being tortured for twelve hours. Like everything still is in theory going to how he wants it to go. It, it may take a circuitous route there, but he hasn't had any real obstacles to overcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, again, if you're because you're Superman, so they're not real obstacles. Like you, yeah. you have this ability to sort of uh, to power through all of this. I, I think it comes down to like wealth. And violence and mysticism. Are we really? Like, if he only had one, like if, he, <laughs> if he had to rely on just hurting people, that would be fine. That, but, like, you also can't buy everybody off. And, and then also be a shaman. Yeah, yeah. That's, that is a lot for Are we rooting for him to end up with his sister? Like, what's the, or do you, 
I mean, I guess you root I mean, them for them I to be. I have no idea what yeah. I'm even rooting for anymore. To get to Nutka, to keep Nutka, to like, I, I don't really know what the end game here is. I mean, you know, she killed a person who I suppose deserved death. He had it coming. Uh, but, you know, uh, do we want her to, what do we want for her? Like, and what do you want for him? And, 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 and I mean, is she going to run to the faith now, you know? Uh, you know, she gonna, you know, she's already in the church there. Is, she, is that where she's gonna? I don't know. I just, you want, I don't know what we're supposed to be rooting well, for. Well, there's only one more episode, so whatever happens to her, we're gonna find out uh, this week. Time. So, one more hour and 38 minute episode. <laughs> <laughs> Check back with us. Thank you. No, that.